G'day everyone, my name is Lachlan McLean, uh, forward for Greenville Triumph, bringing you another episode today of Footy in 5. Today what we're going to work on is we're going to work on some ball control, uh, some continuation on what, what you've already done last week with John. Uh, this, these exercises are great because they allow you to do it almost everywhere. You don't need anything besides the ball and a little bit of space. Um, this is something that I do every day before I, every game day before I, before I actually start the warm up. It just gets me locked in and uh, ready and makes me feel focused and makes my touch feel good. So the first thing uh, we're going to work on is just a little bit of ball control. Uh, just get the feet moving, get the blood flowing, uh, and we're going to start doing that with toe touches. Um, so what I do, there's a line here. You don't need a line, you just need space, as I said. I'm just going to demonstrate on the line, um, and we're just going to go back and forth a couple times. So the first drill is just touching it side to side, coming down. Then I get to the point you stop, and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn around. I want to go back with soul taps. So when we go back with soul taps, same thing, foot on top of the ball, just getting the feet moving, getting touches going. Once we've done that, then we're going to progress the drill a little bit. And we're just going to focus on individual foots here. And I'm going to do inside outside cuts. So this is, I guess, if you do have a line, it's good to use for your touches. So you're going to start just inside, outside touch to the other side of the line, just like that. Same thing, and then you're gonna stop, and then you're gonna go back with your other foot. Then I go back with the left foot. Just keeping the blood not flowing, getting the body moving. Then finally, what we do as a last progression here is we're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna use both feet this time. So it's gonna be inside of the left, outside of the right, inside of the right, outside of the left. And you're just doing that on the way back. Done. Now that, now that we've done that, we've got our body moving and our blood flowing, the next progression is to move into working on our touch. Now, when I get to this part, I feel warm, I feel ready. I just want to make sure, especially my position as a striker, a lot of the time I'm bringing balls down out of the air. A lot of controls, you have to take the ball out of the air. So this is a good drill to work on, just to focus on getting your touch right before we start. So as we start this next progression, you're going to start juggling the ball. Put the ball above your head. Bring it down. Same again. Bring it down. What we're doing here is just working on getting the body moving with the ball, getting your touches flowing, just like so. If you even want to, you can try pop it above your head, just like this, with every touch. Two. Okay. Once you've done that, the final progression I do here is I try and work on bringing the ball down out of the air. So now we've worked on touches, we've worked on bringing the ball down and our control. The final progression is on our touch. So what we're gonna do, last progression is we're gonna work on our touch. So you're gonna pass the ball up, take it down with the inside of your foot. Once you're on your right, you do the same thing with your left. Let's the ball up, bring it down. The good thing about this is you can do touches whether it's with the inside, outside, behind the back, bring it down on your foot. You can do plenty of different ways you wanna to do touches all of which achieve the same thing. Definitely do five or six, six to 10, honestly. Try bring it down in different controls, whether it's with the inside, the outside, or behind the back. Once you've done that, you'll be ready to go.